In this video, I'll show you how to set up your Epson Workforce WF2960 or 2860 or any other models with your Mac computer. And I'll also show you how to print and also how to scan using the Wi-Fi. So let's get started right away. First thing is to connect the Epson printer on your Wi-Fi network. And here is how you need to do it. So on your control panel, there's two ways that this can be done. First of all, on top here, you can see there's a smartphone with a Wi-Fi symbol and right on the left, there is a router with a Wi-Fi symbol. You can go ahead and click on this icon and this panel will appear. If you're unable to click on that icon, since the screen is quite small, you can actually go at the same place through the menus. So go into settings, general settings, network settings, Wi-Fi setup and we're on the same screen as we were before. So once you're here, you need to click on the first option over here, Wi-Fi recommended. Then select start setup, Wi-Fi setup wizard. Now the printer will scan for every single uh, Wi-Fi network around it and it will give you this list. You just have to scroll through it until you see your Wi-Fi network appearing. Then you click on it and you have to enter the password. So over here, click on enter under enter password and you have to type it using this keyboard. Once you're done, make sure that you type the right password since the screen is quite small and hard to type. Once you're done, press the OK button, select start setup, Wait a few seconds. If your Wi-Fi router is far away, it may take a few minutes. And you'll get a blue check mark once the printer is connected to the Wi-Fi. Once your printer is connected to your Wi-Fi network, you need to go on the Epson website. And how you get there, it's very easy. Just go in Google, open a page by typing Epson WF2960 or your exact model and then driver. The first result should be from the official Epson website and you should click on one of them. This is Epson Canada and this is Epson US. Once you're on this side, just go down and choose your operating system. Now, depending what Mac OS you're using, you'll have to choose one of these. If you're not sure, simply go on the top left corner of your screen where you see the Mac logo, click on it, and then click about this Mac. This will open and you should have over there the version. In my case, it's 12.7. So I can close this and choose version 12.x press go, then go down on this same page and download this one over here, drivers and combo utility package, package installer. I double clicked on it, this is how it looks and then you're gonna double click on this Epson logo. Then click on open, open, You may have to type the password of your Mac computer to install this software. Once you type that, press install helper. Press OK and then press on accept. You're not obligated to give your personal data to Epson, so you can uncheck these or leave them checked. It's up to you and then press next. Press next. Make sure your printer is turned on. And over here, you're gonna select the first option, but you may have this screen loading in the meanwhile, so just wait. All right, so select connect via wireless network. And you're gonna have to select your printer from this list, press next. And here you're gonna have a list of the different software you're gonna be able to install on your Mac. What you need to install is over here, it's required software and it's checked and you cannot uncheck it obviously because this is what you want manuals you're not obligated so you can uncheck it and epson photo plus this is an app from epson that i don't think most people need so you can uncheck this as well press install and now we're gonna have to wait you'll have this screen appearing 
And here you need to select the plus symbol over there. If you have a newer version of Mac OS, it may look different and you need to press on add printer. It should, there should be a button like that. So I'll press on this plus and then in this list, I need to select my Epson printer. My case is this one, WF2960. You may have another one that is fax with the name of your printer. Uh, if you want to install the fax, go ahead, but I don't think you will need that. So just select your printer without fax in the name and press the add button. Then your printer will be added in this list over here. We can see mine is there. Perfect. We can close this window. You can print a test page, but you're not obligated. And I don't really recommend it since you can do a test print of your own. Press next, wait a bit. It will just finish everything. You can uncheck over here because if you do not, they will um, contact you to buy their extended extended warranty. Okay, and then you have no choice. You have to click. I just went ahead and closed the window since they're just trying to sell you stuff. Perfect. So now the printer is also connected to your Mac computer. Let me show you how to print. So over here, I have a PDF document with just text with the logo of the channel. And to print it very easy, well, you can go into files once the uh, file is open and then select print. Once you select print, make sure that under printer, the name Epson and the model name is selected from this list. Then we have a few options. The most important one in my uh, case, I think it's over here. If you want to print on double sided, make sure that two sided is selected. If you're printing pictures, for example, you need to go over here, select media and quality. And here you're going to have to select the type of paper you're printing on. Usually if you're simply printing on plain paper, normal paper, don't change anything. But if you're printing on glossy, let's say pictures, well, you have to select glossy paper, photo glossy paper here. If not, your ink will smear. If you're printing on envelopes, select envelope here. If not, as I said, just leave it to auto select. You can also choose the quality of the, your print. This printer has three different qualities, draft, this, this is the worst quality, normal, which is pretty good for any kind of text and some graphics, let's say, and best if you're printing pictures, it's better to put it at the max. In my case, I'll leave it to normal. Once you're ready, make sure you have some paper in your printer and press the print button. And here we go, our print just came out. Now let me show you how to scan using your printer. So this printer has two different scanners, one on the top, this is the automatic document feeder. You can put up to 20 pages at the same time. And you also have a basic scanner over here. I'll show you how to use both and how to transfer whatever you scan to your Mac using Wi-Fi. So to put the document, on this basic scanner over here, scanner glass, put it facing down with the top part on the right side. You see, this is my document. I'll put the top on the right side and here you have an arrow. Bring the corner of the paper so it touches this arrow like that. And then close the scan lid. If you want to use the top document feeder, you need to take your stack of paper. Here I only have two pages, but as I said, up to 20. Open this. Glide them with the top part on the left side, this time facing up. Like that. You're going to hear a beep. And now, no matter which kind of scanner you are using, we need to go on the Mac computer. So on your Mac computer, you need to go over here under the Mac logo, click on the Mac logo, select system preferences. 
you'll have this opening up. Again, if you have a newer version of Mac OS, it may look different. You need to select printers and scanners. Then from here, make sure you select your printer that is on the list. I'm using this one. And then you should see a scan tab over here. You see, click on it and then click on open scanner. A preview page will open. You can make it bigger. And it will give you a preview of what's on the scan lid. Now this preview is not saved. It's just so it shows you what's on the scanner. Next step is to go on these settings. Here you have scan mode. If you're using the scan bed, the first one that I showed you, select flat bed. If you're, uh, if you're using the top document feeder, select document feeder. I'll select that one. Then you have kind. This is to select if you want to your scan to be in color or in black and white. Resolution, if you click on this, you're going to have multiple choices. If you're simply scanning some text document, 200 DPI is enough, even 300 if you want to be more fancy. If you're scanning a picture or any kind of artwork where you need the maximum scanner resolution, you need to select the highest number in this list. I just have to warn you. If you select 9600 DPI, it may take up to 15 minutes to scan one page. Since the scanner has to capture all these details, it will take a long, long time. So don't use that unless you want maximum details. And this is very rare. For a normal sheet of paper, select 200, 300, and this will be done in like 15 seconds. I'll select 200 then make sure that the size of the paper you have input is the right one. Orientation, don't touch this. Scan 2 is to select which folder on your Mac computer the scan will go into. I select desktop and I'll leave it there. Over here we have name. This is to give a name to your scan. So I can um, choose a new name, test scan Epson. And you have uh, format here. If you're going to scan uh, multiple pages and you want to combine them in one PDF document, select PDF and check combine into single document. The good thing about this, let's say you have a hundred pages document and you have put 20 in the top document feeder. Well, once you scan the first 20, go back on this screen, put the next 20 pages, do not change the name, Make sure PDF and combine into single documents are checked. The scanner will add the next 20 pages to the same document that has this name. And you can do this to infinity. Otherwise, do not touch the other options that are down below. Once you're done, press scan and wait. If you choose the top document feeder, the printer will take one by one each pages and scan them. You don't have to feed them or do anything, just watch. On the screen of your Mac, you're going to see that whatever got scanned will be presented to you. And at the end, it will uh, show you a small message saying that it got saved. Wait a second. There has been no message in my case. It even says no document loaded. But if I go on my desktop, here it is, that's the document I just scanned. So this is it. I hope this was useful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe, check the Amazon affiliate links in the description down below if you want to support my channel because every time you buy something through them, I get a very small commission that helps my channel. If not, see you in the next video.